Yes guys, what's going on? Welcome to Adam McCullough TV. Manchester United have beaten Sheffield United 3-0 with Anthony Martial scoring three goals. The first hat-trick Manchester United have scored since Zlatan Ibrahimovic's against San Etienne. And Manchester United's first Premier League hat-trick since Robin Van Persie's in a 2012-2013 season against Aston Villa. Can you believe it? Martial's first career hat-trick for Manchester United as well. It was a fantastic day at an empty Old Trafford. Obviously, no fans there today, which is why I'm sat here at home watching the game. We've just been on the watch-along. Thank you to everyone that joined us. And, of course, right now we're here to look back at that game and what a phenomenal game it was. First off, let's talk about Toto, Anthony Martial. He put in a complete striker performance today. When you look at his first goal, what kind of goal was that? He worked the ball. He made sure the defender couldn't settle. Marcus Rashford gets the ball down to the byline, smashes it past and Anthony Martial flies in there and makes sure the ball's his on the front post to make it 1-0 to Manchester United after seven minutes and then just before half time he's in and around that six yard box poaching. He's looking for the opportunity to come. Aaron Wambasaka smashes it across the box. Martial gets in there and gets his goal 2-0 to United just before the break and it was exactly what we needed two poachers goal as well. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has been screaming and crying out for Rashford Marshall to get into those areas where you get the scrappy goals, where you get the scruffy goals. We know Marshall and Rashford can score bangers. We know they can do it, but we want them to do this more, get into the dangerous areas and get those goals. And that's exactly what Martial did in that first half. And then his third goal to cap off the hat trick was absolutely magnificent. We've seen him do it before, draw the goalkeeper out and just dink it over him comfortably. He never broke stride. It was a fantastic goal. And when you're on your hat-trick, your first hat-trick for Manchester United, some people would look to smash that. And he didn't. He dinged it over the keeper. Fantastic goal. And a big fuck you to all the people that have been saying he can't play at number nine for Manchester United. And he should have been dropped for this game as well. Obviously, I understand if you think he should be dropped for this game because he didn't play well against Spurs. All right, that's your opinion. But for those that thought he couldn't play up front for Manchester United, when you're looking at his goal record now, and it's like 19 goals in 36 games in the number nine position, it's better than one in two. You can't complain. And his, goal from start, his goals from starts is even better. You can't complain with the goal output that he's given this year. And when I mentioned that he might be up there, one of the top five players for United this season, and just in with a shout of player of the year, maybe not player of the year, but in with a shout when I said he'd probably, arguably, been as good as Marcus Rashford. Some people said, what are you talking about? But look at it. He had a bad January. He had two months out. Apart from that, he's been scoring goals for fun. And he's been leading the line well. And he's shown improvements this season as well. Um, when you look at the style of goals that he scored today, you look at the big smile on his face at the end and you're just delighted for him. Um, you're delighted for Ali who's been working with him and giving him the confidence to do these kind of things and it was magnificent today. A great result for United, a clean sheet as well, David De Gea in between the sticks, keeping that clean sheet and that was the kind of reaction we wanted from him. He wasn't tested much today but what he had to do, he did with ease. Now, talking about Martial's big smile on his face, you saw a picture of him and Rashford at the end today when they went off for subs after about 80 minutes. Oli didn't make any subs till then. And Martial had this big beaming smile on his face. And Rashford was sat there like, not impressed. He wasn't happy. And you know what? I'm glad you like that, Marcus Rashford. I'm glad you are thinking like that because I want that from my strikers. Ruvan Estre used to be like that. United lost, sorry, United win 4-0, and he'd be fuming if he didn't score. But United won 4-0, Rude. Yeah, it doesn't matter, I'm fuming because I didn't score. And that's what I want to see from Rashford, from Marshall, from Mason Greenwood, who also had a very good game today. Probably could have scored one shot, just hit off the heel of Paul Pogba and went wide. And that's the front three that we want to see more often. I'm a big fan of Danny James. I think he's a great squad player for United, but he's more beneficial against teams that are looking to attack us on the counter-attack, and he's more beneficial against teams that have had to play against 60, 70 minutes of Rashford and Greenwood and all that coming off the bench. He's a lot better there. When you have to play him week in, week out, and you burn him out, he doesn't look as good, and that's what I think he's suffered from this season. He's, been, he's brought many advantages to this team. And I think Mason Greenwood playing there today could have had a goal, but when you look at the work he did defensively, getting involved with his teammates, he looked happy out there. And when I seen the lineup today, when I seen that midfield of Matic, Bruno, Pogba, the one that we wanted, Rashford, Greenwood, Martial up front, the one that we wanted, I was worried because every time we get the team that we want, we usually don't perform or we don't put in a performance that we come to expect. 
And United did that today. There were still moments where you look at it and you think, wow, it's early start of the season. They're still not up to match sharpness. There's still a little bit of rust there. And you could see that at times. And, you know, there was little bits where Sheffield United would have a lot more of the possession and would look like a better team. Um, and, you know, you'd think, oh, are they going to get a goal and turn this into a game again? But it never really happened. And United always stayed in there. And from back to front, we got a reaction from David De Gea. We got a reaction from Luke Shaw. I said he should have been dropped today. I would have rather have seen Brandon Williams start. And when I seen the 11, I felt the same. But he had a reaction today. He played well. Now, he could probably still offer more going forward. But he played well. You can't complain. You look at um, Victor Lindelof. He won all of his battles early on. He was probably our best player in the first half, bar Anthony Martial. He looked comfortable at centre-half. Harry Maguire was better today. Aaron Wambasaka got an assist today. Could have created an opportunity in the last 10 minutes for Igalo. He couldn't quite just get his foot onto it. And there were still times when during the watch long, he would have seen a moaned about his, his, his production in the final third. But he created two clear-cut chances that we should have been taking. One Martial did take, and one Igalo. You hoped if he had 10 more minutes under his belt, or he was a little bit match sharp, he would have got on to the end of. So you can't complain with his performance going forward either. Although you feel at times he maybe could have done more. Matic was excellent today, and I thought a big part of the way United were playing was that Matic would drop in alongside the centre half. He'd drop in alongside Lindelof and, uh, uh, and Maguire, and Wambasaka and Luke Shaw would bomb forward. This meant that you had, obviously, Sheffield United who had three centre-halves there. You've got their three centre-halves, and then they had their two wing-backs. But when United were able to do that, we were able to get their wing-backs turning on their heels and sitting back in. Now, obviously, Sheffield United weren't going to commit many men forward. We knew that. But it was important that we were doing these things. Sometimes Luke Shaw was popping up in the middle of the field, further higher up the pitch. And Matic was just dropping in. And I think that was a big way of breaking up the way they were playing. On paper, it looked like a 4-2-3-1. But in actuality, we became a 3-4-1-2, almost a 3-4-3. And it looked good at times. Paul Pogba, playing deeper in position, looked very good. There was one excellent run in the second half where he megged someone, turned it around. And then Martial snatched at the shot once it got stuck under his feet. But you're thinking, Martial, if you've left that, we might have seen a little bit more magic from Paul Pogba. Um, but Paul Pogba is clearly getting that rust off him. Um, he's getting back up to fitness and he's getting back up to sharpness, but he's looking good. And those that are saying Pogba and Bruno can't play in the team, well, I beg to differ because Pogba comes from that deep position. He's pinging the balls around and when you want, it pops up higher up the field. And Bruno's not bothered about going back if he has to. He's not bothered about rolling his sleeves up and getting stuck in. But then he's always involved in front as well. Sometimes he shoots too much and that's frustrating. But you have to accept that from him. You have to accept that sometimes he's going to give the ball away. Sometimes he's going to have a shot and it's not quite going to go to plan. Because he's a player that makes things happen. And when you've got Rashford, Pogba... Um, Bruno, all these players on the pitch, Martial, you're going to make things happen. And it was just easy today. Pogba, Bruno there, uh, Rashford, Marshall, Greenwood. Matic was looking after the defence. The wing-backs were getting forward. It was a comfortable result for United and a comfortable performance. And we've seen that there. And I was really pleased with that. We didn't make any substitutions until the 80th minute. Maybe that's, you know, Ali keeping in mind that we have got that game coming up against um, Norwich in the cup and maybe he'll ring the changes in that game. I wouldn't be surprised, but the way we're playing at the moment, we're looking very confident. 13 games unbeaten, nine games won, four games drawn. We're looking very good and we're pushing on for that top four. We're not far behind Chelsea. They've got a game in hand, but it is against Manchester City. So hopefully this will help us close the gap there. Um, and then Leicester City, the six points ahead of us, but they're dropping points. So hopefully we can close the gap there too and can continue to do that. So, you know, with the fixtures that Chelsea and Leicester have, you're quietly confident United can get into that top four. And you're happy with the way things are going. There's confidence. The, foot, the, ble the players are playing good football. We're looking good. Ali's getting things right. Um, we're looking good at the minute. And I'm confident of us getting that top four. And when you look at their fixtures that they have, they should be worried about Manchester United coming right up behind them. Now, we've got a little break at the weekend because we've got that Norwich game in the FA Cup. Can't wait for that. I love a bit of FA Cup action and a magnificent opportunity to get us into the last four of that competition. And hopefully we can take that with both hands. But today we did the business and it's another step closer to getting everyone closer to match fitness. But also another step closer to Manchester United to getting back to where we belong. These are the kind of performances we've taken for granted over the years. The two 3-0 wins at home that in the end you'll forget about. You won't forget about this because Anthony Martial scored a hat-trick. But you know what I mean, the routine 3-0 wins. And this was vintage Manchester United today. 
vintage Manchester United and Anthony Martial haters where the fuck are you because today he was magnificent he had that number nine role and he made it his own and he got three goals and now he's joint top goal scorer with Marcus Rashford on 19 and I said before the season I want to see them like get 50 between them they're now on 38 between them six each left with about 10 games you know we've got eight left eight seven eight left in the league we've got FA Cup and we've got Europa League games to come there's no reason why they shouldn't be hitting 25 apiece and 50 goals between them. And you add Mason Greenwood's goal to that and it's a decent position to be in. So I'm excited for the remainder of the season and this performance goes ahead to do that even more um, justice. And what a performance from Anthony Martial. Martial FC, stand up. Anyway, guys, let me know what you're thinking about this game today. The man of the match is obvious, but I thought everyone did well in the team. I don't think there was any bad player there today and that is huge for us going forward so let us know what you're thinking obviously we can't get complacent we got difficult games on the horizon but there's a chance there for us we got silverware to play for top four to play for there's no reason why we can't get all of it let's go reds get your comments in below make sure you subscribe and join in like and comment and share and all that good stuff go check out the fan cams as well if they're up already they might be but for now i'm adam mccola i'm out of here